This is the energy vibration reading for the month of May for the Libra and Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It is um, a month of the hurt energies, and hurt energies has to do with the energies of um, the Empress. So this is a good month for a lot of people um, because it's a month of balancing out your physical needs, your materialistic needs, the things that you need to um, help you through lives and to support you. I want to say um, thank you for returning. Thank you for your likes and shares. Please like, share these readings, thumbs up. And let's go into the reading. But this month of May, um, the energy of May is a wonderful positive energy for you guys. That uh, uh, you know, this is a card let in. I'm I change up my reading every week. And um, what is transpiring for you guys in May is that it, there is bringing balance. Okay, relationships are not the most positive, but there is balance that is coming up this week of May. Have five weeks. In this um, week, in this month, I'm sorry, of May, we begin with the energy of the Earth energies, the two first, um, um, the two and a half first week, and then we're moving in the zodiac energy of air. So um, after um, the weekend of the third week, you're going to be feeling somewhat differently because you are vibrating in the energy vibration of the hair. So let's look at your reading your most um and i want to say um this deck is a special deck that i've received from um a subscriber who um uh would like uh, who have shared with us um this positiveness of um um helping us out to with this new deck this new deck is a new deck um she would like to have the positive readings come in out every week and um, she has really really done her best and you know um, this is something very wonderful to do because um, the universe but yet still a lot of people are going to be um, um, receiving positive energies and this is uh, so positive so I'm wishing that person all the best who has um, helped us out with these new deck okay Love this deck. It's a positive deck. It's a, dream, a, a dimensional deck because it's unbelievable positive. I've used this deck like this in this month because I want the energy vibration and um, the um, um, the synchronicity from this deck to awaken your still a gateway chakra. This is good um, to do. Okay, what I'm seeing is that you guys have the energy of the sun. So in May, it's going to carry the energy of the sun for you guys. Whatever the situation is that is transpiring, the energy of the sun is coming in May. The sun is bringing new information. Um, not only information, but it's bringing a lot of stuff to you. Okay, what will these stuff be? These stuff will be a new um, relationship, new situations coming in your life, but yet still, it will also have a success a victorious and successful um, situation so if you have been dealing with certain situation in your life the energy of the Sun is going to bring new um, new opportunities um, in your life and this is going to be extremely good positive new opportunity opportunities in your life as I'm looking at your reading this month it's going to be all about work it's all about your passion it's all about who you are so it doesn't really matter if you are um, on pension or whatever it is you will be affected by the energies in this month so as we look at um, the energy um, coming out it is going to be uh, more of the passion your passy whatever it is the best week for you is going to be the third week the best week for you is going to be the third week because you're working with a lot of fire energy so a lot of people are going to be focusing on work focusing on how you can build a certain stability in your life and this is going to be extremely important for some of you as we look at the right on the left hand side of the, the deck, we see the first week and there is the three of ones. The three of ones is a new positive because it's as if um, whoever you are has left a relationship 
in the month of April and you're um, you know looking for a new relationship and twice the energy of the Sun because both the suns are on uh, or you know right beside each other you're seeing that there are positive situation that is going to be coming out it's not a question it's not action there is going to be a lot of positive situation and if you whoever you are out there if you're having a health problem this L problem um, there is going to be good news coming in about this and problem because um, you can even see the energy of the cross here which is letting you know that whatever health situation some of you have been dealing with is coming to an end this energy of the cross doesn't mean um, um, doesn't mean that um, things are coming to a, a, an end not all but it can also um, letting you know that um, um, some situation or really um, from out the past situation cosmic family because there's new love that is coming in okay and the new love that is coming in could be coming in from a Sagittarius um, person okay so some of you could have left and um, a relationship with a Sagittarius person and uh, you're moving in in a positive energy looking for a new relationship and this is going to be happening for you what it is always so saying if some of you had stress um, the stress that you leave the month of April would come in the month of May this stress is going to be over it was uh, it's coming to an end okay because there's the, the number seven the number seven is going to play a significant and role um, uh, coming in this month of um, May because you are seeing that um, the energy of seven is always a new beginning but this you have from the Osho Sen deck it says the energy of stress so most of you have been dealing with stressful situation with your health and that sort of a situation and near now in the month of May you are going to see a um, new start and new healing coming in help is going to be coming in um, as um, you're dealing with um, health situation a lot of new start a lot of new positive situations are going to be coming in your life and a whole lot of new opportunities will be coming in in the second week okay a lot of wonderful new opportunities will be coming in the second week as we look at the third week um, it is your best week you have the energy of the ace of sword this third week that is when the zodiac energies actually begin for this month of May because we're ending the month of May um, with the energy of uh, um, the zodiac energy of hair so this is good because this is going to be supporting you so the third week is going to be your best best week as we look at the third week and look at the situation that is around the third week okay a situation is that a lot of you will be finding who you truly are okay a lot of you will be releasing the mask that you have been wearing whatever the situation that has been happening a lot of you are going to be coming up and finding out who you are as a true spiritual being on this planet whatever that has transpired you be finding yourself and removing that veil of illusion that you have always had and now you are going to be accepting it for some of you um, there is going to be some conflicts and it can be inner conflicts if there were conflicts now there is a resolution to this conflicts because the dissolution that you were sitting in of not knowing what was transpiring has now come to an end okay so the dissolution of you sitting in it and 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 this is um being now being resolved because of whatever that has transpired now you're seeing the truth of a situation and the ace of swords comes up showing you exactly what has taken place so now you are seeing a truth to a situation that has been happening so as we move forward and we're looking at the energy of uh, um 
the situation that is transpired is actually um, a positive healing that is coming in for yourself but whatever dissolution that you have about situations around you about people things and places and situation around you now you are going to be seeing the truth of what exactly had transpired as we look at the fifth week we have the energy of the five of ones now as I've said in the beginning it's all about passion it's all about you it's all about the passion and there has been so full conflicts that is has been going on there has been been so full so full conflicts some of you have decided to leave some of these situation and conflicts behind because these conflicts are making you very stressed out some of you have um, a situation to see that there could be new love that is coming in in the first and second week but because of these conflicts and because of these situation that is happening and because of the stress that you have been going through you're not seeing the positive energy of this love coming in because there is definitely someone who wants to let you know that they want to be and share your life and this is someone who comes in in a positive way as we look at the um the fifth week the week the fifth week have you have the energy of the nine of ones now the nine of ones is always that you're ready for anything that is about to happen that is the last week of May so um, the month of May brings in positive energy it brings in solution it brings in resolution but it is also saying to you listen um, whatever that is um, happening and whatever that is coming at you you're ready because you have the energy of the ace of ones which is above it because there's a lot of situation that is coming at you because you have um, a situation which you weren't seeing a situation clearly and you're having um, information that is coming at you that you weren't aware of so this month seems to be seen that is affecting a lot of people health wise and um, mental status of who they are because it you are the energy of the hair and this is what is basically happening for you guys so it is a month where there are healing that is coming in because the energy of the Sun is always the energy of bringing in new energy and a positive and bringing light to situation so it's as if that dissolution that is going to be happening in the third week and last week there is going to be a dissolution something that you were um unable to see before is you know it's going to be coming out at you and this is going to be good because you are protected so the outcomes of this um, um, month is basically that some of you are going to have to deal with the prince of wands who it can be the prince of the princess of wands um, it could be a son so you people could have someone who um, is an Aries and Leo or an um, Sagittarius that you have to be dealing with and this person wants to come at you um, with you know negative um, things and you know it's a conflict that you both are having um, there is this huge conflicts that um, and it's stressing it's basically stressing you out and you need this conflict is a karmatic situation because um, the energy of the cross and the cross is the karma the cross that you have to bear in your life and this is coming out from a past lifetime that you have to deal with this whoever the sprints of ones is so whatever the situation is um know that um this conflicts you are ready and you know you are ready for whatever is coming at you because um you can um, survive this and you will survive this because information will be coming at you it's as if the truth of the situation is going to be coming out and you're going to see the truth of whatever has transpired okay let's look at love love for um, the singles are going to be new love are going to be coming in the energies of the singles life and this is going to be good um, whoever this person is is coming from a past life and this is a soulmate 
um, relationship that is coming in um, and this could be um, from a Sagittarius okay a Sagittarius or it could be also from a Pisces that sort of energy is here as we look at the people who are coupled up some of you are going to start to see as um, your marriage for what it is okay so for the people who are coupled up you're going to be starting to see your marriage for what it is or your relationship for what it is or the person that you're sharing your relationship for what it is because it is it's as if this situation whatever is coming out is as if you are going to be alarmed at um, whatever that is transpiring you're going to be thinking oh my gosh I have never seen the side of this person before and I'm um, you know it's either you're not liking it or you're not going to like it for some of you um, you're going to find out that your partner actually um, you know enjoy the company of the opposite sex than your company and uh, you know this can be um, not so satisfactory this can not be so nice and there's going to be a lot of conflicts and if that's the situation I would say to you um, you know resolve yourself and release yourself from this person or just deal with the situation in a sense that if even you do not decide to get divorced or that sort of a thing that you just you know realize that okay this person has uh, um, I'm seeing the true side to who this person is and uh, I'm going to decide to take my energy back um, from this person and this is all you need to do basically okay so um, it's it's all about with relationships with Venus and um, um, the Tauruses a lot of you couples are going to be having a situation with um, the planet love and um, the, you know it can be the Taurus but yet still it can um, have to do with um, you know seeing the truth of a situation and um, whatever the conflict there is going to be a, a lot of conflicts with um, some um, people who are merged to, married to the Taurus and that sort of a situation but um, you're finally seeing the truth of a situation so let's look at the energy of the Sun um, and moon um, signs what is going to be transparent um, for the people who were born between the air the time of 12 p.m. and 12 and 7 um, and 6 p.m. in the evening 12 p.m. in the morning and, and 7 p.m. 6 p.m. in the evening you have to deal with the planet of Mars so there is going to be a lot of career changes so a lot of people careers are going to be coming to an end a lot of people who are have in stressful career are going to decide um, to end their career and, and and you know and just look for a new career and this is going to be um, extremely good then we have the energy of um, <coughs> sorry <laughs> Then we have the energy of um, the Sagittarians. <coughs> Sorry. And the energy of the Sagittarians is here because um, some of you are going to be meeting um, someone new. And this could be a new love that is coming in with a Sagittarius. And this is going to be positive. As we move forward and we're looking at the lunar people, we're having the energy of Venus and Taurus. And this is good um because in relationships there could be conflict but yet still um in some of you are going to be realizing that maybe I'm you know I'm connected to the Taurus person and you know um maybe this is the person who I've been waiting for so um there is a lot of situation that is um transparent there's a lot of situations that a lot of people are going to be thinking um mm, okay now I'm seeing a situation clearly because obviously around the third week and the last week a lot of you will be seeing um, a situation in relationships but not only in relationship but what has been transparent around you and you're going to be seeing these things clearly so be aware of that um, um, I'm not seeing um, any money situations or any um, 
conflicting situation because it's more about work it's more about new opportunities coming in so whatever the situation is with all these new opportunities that is coming in what this is saying is that um, whatever the situation is of was it is going to bring um, a lot of um, new positive financial situation I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back um, please like share these videos and um, send them out in the universe so that um, the energies can come back to you guys it is going to be a wonderful time of positive energy positive healing um, so um, please remember to like share and thumbs up listen to your Sun and Moon rising sign and I'll speak to you next week